What's up, everyone? Welcome back to the channel. I've been feeling like crap for the last couple of days, so I do apologize for not uploading on Monday. I do want to keep up the schedule, so um, I will try to get better with that. But this video, I want to talk about the Marvel Cinematic Universe's version of Armor Wars that centers around James Rhodey's War Machine. But before I begin this video, I want you guys to hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and post a comment below and let me know what you think. Now, just to give you guys a brief setting, Armor Wars is actually called Stark Wars. And in Armor Wars is essentially the premise of it was that someone was taking Tony Stark's technology and Tony realizing that his armor could be used for evil, decided to go on a crusade and stop all stop his armor from being used by evildoers because they're they're selling them on the black market and they were utilizing them, which end up harming his relationship with the other heroes in the process as he was ruthlessly um he had a ruthless campaign about getting stopping his armor from being used now with how i feel like marvel will do this because it's war machine now just to let you guys know james Rhodey did play a role in stark wars or as they're calling now armor wars but he didn't he was not the main character it was that went to iron man tony stark so what i do believe they're going to do with this movie is have the same premise someone now that tony stark is dead there's going to be somebody who is taking tony's armor and they're using it in a black market and i think like justin hammer might return so he might be one of the people and then they might start giving us some introductions to characters like riri williams because the iron heart movie is announced or tv show it, it was announced so because it was announced i believe that um i believe that she will play somewhat of a role maybe a minor role like he meets her but she built her own armor and he realized that so i think that would be her role in in the war machine version i think that this is also going to help them introduce firepower and spy master i think that this will give them the means to do it firepower was the main antagonist to the stark wars and so was um spy master they both were the antagonists of armor wars just you know just for references but i do think this is some exciting news and it's a little shocking but it's exciting to see war machine now if they wanted to real quick keep it within the realm of the comic books captain marvel will make an appearance in this maybe not play a big role but she will make an appearance in it maybe that's something they should do in this but we'll see guys just you guys let me know in the comment section on what you guys think about war machines uh armor wars and i catch you guys on the next one peace out